black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.
Well, well, well. What up, world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, welcome to another video. So, as you can see, we uh, are holding it down for Philly. And, you know, you know, I brought my pee with me. Shout out Philly for the shirt. And uh, looking like, you know, matching the whiz. So, got the cheese whiz matching the shirt. Got my pee for Philly. Got the cheese steak. Now, I know you're going to roast me a little bit. It's not traditional. I know. Okay. My twist, my take, my quantranifying of it. Um, mushrooms. <clears throat> I love mushrooms. And they just go get good with steak. So, had to do that. And uh, and then I just couldn't resist. I had crispy onions on deck. I saw them. I was like, last minute decision. All right, let's, let's, let's throw a Hail Mary on there. So, that's what we got. But we do have the nice soft sub roll. Got the meat. Got the cheeses. And uh, sweet Jesus, I need this, and I'm ready to go in. So we got the tots in the background here. I'm gonna have to spread the lane side to side, because as you guys know, I need my Guy Fieri room. And then also just a quick uh, R.I.P. for the pour up. I'm sorry, but it's one of those days, and I'm already sipping on a diet Red Bull. So I have that going already. I needed a little jazz of a little jazz to get this going today. Got my new Bushido blade. Yes, I did wash it between the cutting of the meat. Just relax. All y'all know it all is out in YouTube land. I'm not an idiot. I do clean my blade, okay? So this is gonna be rather messy. So I do I do want to half it. <laughs> But y'all, I'm VV excited. Very, very excited. Been thinking about this for a good, good long while. Okay. Make sure this sandwich is up to code, up to par. Okay. Ooh, that roll is so soft. Ooh, your buns are so soft, baby. And of course, we're going to drizzle in with the cheese bite as a requirement. Okay, there you are. I have a feeling this one's just going to get messy, bro. Wow. I can't help it. This is just one of those sandwiches. There you all are. So I think traditionally, it's either one of the two cheeses provolone or the or the whiz correct me if I'm wrong but uh, I just decided that I wanted to go with two cheeses which I think is absolutely fine because you know when you're when you're cooking for yourself there's no rules if you want something that you think is going to make it fire on your palate hit it up Go for it. Is 
the onions so nice it's that sweet caramelization so good Once again, we're bringing the French onion dip. I thought to myself, what, what do I have that I can put on some tots that's non-traditional? And then I figured to myself, the French onion dip has to work. If it works on a plain chip, it's gotta be fire on a tot. And then I thought, it's gotta be fire in some Chase Whiz too, you know what I mean? I lie though. It's not the Wiz, it's Velveeta. Same diff. I think Velveeta is just actually a little more legit, a little better. And yes, I'm starving. I'm like 22 hours fasted right now. So. This is hitting. Plus, when you're chefing up and you're hungry as, as shit, and you gotta like smell everything and watch everything, it's so hard not to like want to just get in there. It's very difficult not to nibble on things. And that's something that I have learned to practice. Like when I'm making these videos is like not to nibble because I don't want to ruin my appetite for the actual video. Because a lot of times if you nibble enough, enough time goes by during the cooking that it registers to your brain like, oh, thanks. Like you gave me some food. I might. I don't really need that meal. So, I've practiced this uh, self control of the nibbling. All right. Sweating today. It's a hot one. Round two fight. You know I'm about to flawless victory this this guy though. Oh my god, you guys this roll, this sub sandwich bun, like on a level of crazy good. I know you guys are probably like on the other side of the screen being like cheese it. But to be honest, I want to taste the balance. I want to get that like harmonious flavor combo of everything. There's enough cheese inside with the slices and the drizzle. I cheaped out on the beef a little bit didn't want to have to buy like you know a $20 steak to make it and I didn't know how it was going to come out but it's good it's fine I'm sure it'd be a little better with a better cut but 
I'm pretty sure this is like a by tradition like a uh, working man sandwich you know what I mean a blue collar dish made with cheaper ingredients she's nice though real nice rich she is it gets very rich Has, I love the taste of Red Bull. Once again, the diet one. Just as good as the, the original flavor one, I swear to God, with the sugar. But I weirdly love the taste of Red Bull. Fire. I already know though. That I made too many of these. Should have made less. But these are fine because a couple hours from now, just save them to reheat them right quick or whatever. And they're still good. So, they will not go to waste. Because that's my philosophy with the shit. Is I make a meal enough that I'm not wasteful. Or excessively wasteful. I low-key kind of hate that about other mukbangers. Like, you're just wasting a ton, ton of food. Just have a nice meal for yourself. Some of them, though, do make a ton and crush the whole thing. Like, that's wild, though. I can't get on that level. I just like to enjoy one really nice, you know, fairly large portion of food. You know? It just seems like the... Uh, respectable thing to do or the, the, the good normal thing to do like I don't know I'm not about this whole like buying half the menu and just eating like four bites of things and then it was just for the thumbnail and then it's like what did you do with it after did you just throw it out like ah, that's not that cool anyways so the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.